Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discussing about a project FPGA implementations of 8 cross 8 truncated multiplayer. The multiplication is a most priority one in digital signal processing application. Nowadays, parallel multiplayer provide a rapid approach for performing multiplication operation while demanding a significant amount of space in VLC architectures. In the majority of signal processing applications, there is a performance for using a rounded results in order to prevent an increases in the size of hardware architecture therefore an important goal in this design process to minimize the spiral demand of rounded output multiplayer the research the furthermore in includes a comparative analysis of the implementations of 8 cross 8 conventional and truncated multiplayer using verilog hdl on fpga field programmable gate array okay the truncated multiplayer demonstrate a much greater decreases in device compositions as compared to the regular multiplayer a conventional multiplayer performs a computations of n cross n bits and produces a weight sum of the output considering of 2 n bit in construct a truncated multiplayer generates an output of just n bit from the n cross n bit input okay the use of logic gates in both internal and external hardware designs will be decreases the truncated multiplayer provides a variable approach for achieving the significant reductions in the fpga resources latency and power consumptions compared to the regular parallel multiplayer so now we can verify this concept uh, this is a concept of truncated multiplayer 8 rows 8 bit okay so here the truncated multiplayer is mainly used for to reduce the number of full adders and logic sizes in the normal multiplayer so what is a normal multiplayer so normal multiplayer means uh, n into n means it will be provided 2n output okay that means uh, uh, 8 into 8 means it will be provided a 16 bit output okay so that is a uh, called can check the 8 bit multiplayer means 8 into 2 okay 16 bit output so 16 bit multiplayer means it will be provided 32 bit output okay so here uh, you have multiplied the 8 bit to 8 bit input okay so it, and it will be provide uh, the 16 bit or 16 bit multiplier it will be provide 32 bit means okay so if we are store this multiplication output in any memory or we are used in any adders or any other applications okay it will be used with the same bit size so that bit size also taken more logic sizes okay so uh, we plan to reduce uh, this uh, number of output bits okay so example 8 cross 8 means it will be provided in 8 bit okay so that is a specialization having in the truncated multiplayer so n into n means n bit output okay so this n bit output uh, will reduce the external architectures logic sizes okay but uh, the accuracy is the main point okay so here the truncated multiplayer uh, it will provide some uh, approximate outputs but not all the values in the approximate okay so why because the truncated multiplayer will reduce the number of bits in the lsb part not in the msb part so here why the msb part is more important means in signal processing or image processing uh, so we need to focus the msb part only not in the lsb part okay so lsb part has having more errors okay there must be part having a accuracy okay so example so in the color range okay 0 0 to uh, 255 okay so 0 means black color and uh, 255 means white color so even the lsb you are change this color range okay 0 0 0 1 1 0 means so the 0 0 0 1 also black color okay 255 254 also white color okay so in the lsb variations so it's not uh, more more of uh, the changes in the hardware that means the uh, signal processing also okay in the sine wave uh, pattern of uh, the signal processing okay the lsb we are not considered the msb only we are considered so that's why we are given a more priority in the msb part okay so here this uh, truncated multiplier also it will be given more priority in the msb part so it will be handled uh, three number of techniques one is the uh, deletions and the reductions and the truncation method okay it will be reduced more number of partial products in the 
lsb and it will be provide a output in the msb okay so here you can uh, refer the architectures uh, p8 to p15 okay so it will be provide a msb output only the lsb part uh, we are not considered it okay so this is a truncated multiplier architectures okay so here this multipliers uh, initially start with a input and b input after this a input and b input we are generate a number of partial product that partial product will be used in the added tree additions okay so in this added tree additions will be used the three, three technique uh, reductions deletions and truncations and we are uh, come up with the final output 15 down to 8 okay so this is a document for half headers and full headers okay so you can check the overall document process okay and uh, we are used uh, uh, reference papers okay so this is a reference paper for truncated multiplayer okay so here the architectures they are given uh, in figure 2 is a standard normal multiplier okay so it's a conventional or traditional or standard multiplier whatever it is it's a normal multiplier so this uh, lsb part only we are planning to reduce just okay so here the unnecessary bits and deleted bits okay so this part we are planning to reduce it and we are come up with the the new architectures of truncated eight cross eight multiplier okay so this architectures we are developed uh, using verlog hdl method so this is a verlog hdl code okay and uh, this is a simulation output okay so here you can check the a input and b input okay you can multiply it so this is a data check value for uh, error checking we are uh, given a value in the test bench a into b okay so this is a product output from the truncated okay so here you can check the truncated value so it will be provide the msb output okay so you can check the data check value 037b but uh, here it will be provide 03 only here you can check 0729 but here the product output provide 07 and uh, here you can check 1c 1e and uh, the truncated multiplier provide 1c only okay but in some of the cases error also occur okay so here uh, you can check uh, the output c096 okay but uh, the truncated will provide a c1 okay so c1 and c0 means it's not a major error it's a minor error only okay so based upon these things uh, we can choose this truncated multiplier for any other applications it will be provide a good results okay and uh, this is the overall uh, simulation executions okay and this multipliers we have synthesized in uh, signlinx uh, spartan 6 lx 9 fpga here you can check the number of slice registers lut's and uh, occupied slices io base okay and uh, synthesis report you can check delay okay delay will take 20.925 nanoseconds and you can check rtl schematic okay so here we are given a input equal to 8 bit and b input equal to 8 bit and the partial product output equal to 7 down to 0 that is a uh, final product output equal to 8 bit okay so here you can check the truncated multiplier architectures internal okay so here you can check number of letters and with the and gate and gate means it's a partial product generation we are used and gate and instead of this full header architectures we are designed with the conventional method so with using two half header based architectures okay and finally we are taken as a output okay so here okay and uh, you can check the power report tools expert analyzer okay so here it will be take minimum power only uh, it's come up with a 14 millivolt okay and the output screenshot also we are updated in the document okay thank you if you need more video related to vlsi project please like and subscribe this channel